The PNUF BRT project consists of a bus rapid transit system running up the median of PNUF Boulevard and along the PNUF Freeway on the island of Laval. It goes through four boroughs on the island of Montreal and it goes through the city of Laval as well, just north of the island of Montreal. The project itself consists of constructing a 14 kilometer long bus rapid transit system with 21 stations. The PNUF BRT project is a first of its kind in the province of Quebec. We really had to examine how best to create the system to be safe for all users and to be comprehensible by drivers and, most importantly, those with mobility and visual impairments. That we really developed a system that was tailored for the environment it was in. Uh, this includes really saving a lot of street trees. This was a big piece of a lot of the communities as they liked the mature street trees, so we actually adapted our design going tree by tree, seeing how we could save them. Other communities like Montreal North really sees this project as a catalyst for revitalization, and we developed the project to be able to achieve this. This project lines up being 100% universally accessible for all users, regardless of their impairments and regardless of their age, from 8 to 80. And the system itself actually also has uh, state-of-the-art, first-of-its-kind signage and traffic control systems tailored just for this system that have never been used in the province of Quebec before. Because of previous counterflow, so buses were running in the opposite direction, during the peak hour in the peak direction, bus service existed. This had resulted into several accidents. Following this, the line was closed and was subject to a coroner's inquest. Therefore, this new system was subject to very rigorous checking by peer reviews and safety audits at every major step of the project. Safety was really at the core of everything we did in this project to ensure that it would be safe and efficient for all users. We've also improved safety by creating left turn bays for all the vehicles driving up and down the corridor and there was a lot of confusion in terms of turning restrictions and lane assignment on the previous boulevard design. Now we've developed a real consistent system. So really a system that's up to the best practices and worldwide state of the practice. So the end result of the project is a system that is going to be the heaviest traveled north-south bus route on the island of Montreal. It's going to be carrying up to 70,000 users. It'll be used by three separate transit operators. It'll have the fringe benefit of actually reducing crowding on the orange line of the Montreal Metro system. And it'll actually be a catalyst for urban development throughout the corridor and also serve some of the underprivileged areas of Montreal. All in all being an overall asset for the island of Montreal, the city of Laval, and the metropolitan area as a whole.